Right here tonight at 11, clean, crisp water. It's something we all appreciate. And now, the city of Dayton is planning on sharing our success with other communities. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Katie Houston. While they're asking taxpayers to foot the bill for a new water treatment facility at first, they say the rewards could be tremendous for our city. Robert Lowry is digging to find what it will cost you and when you may see some of that money come back. Every day, more than 400,000 people across Montgomery County will use water that's cleaned here right in the city of Dayton. Now the city is planning on sharing their water secrets in order to bring in some extra revenue. It's not a pretty process softening all this water. It takes a lot of slop, a lot of dirt, and a lot of heat. Just the way water treatment workers like it. We like hot, dry summers that require people using lots of water so we can sell lots of water. Only two cities in the United States use a facility like this to soften water. This plant in Dayton uses lime in the process, but unlike other communities, Dayton is able to recycle all of this sludge instead of throwing it away. Periodically, maybe once every year or two, they would have a contractor come in and excavate the material from the lagoons and then either take it to a landfill to dispose of it or you can dispose of it on farm fields. Now the city wants to turn this messy process into some green. The city is planning on spending $3 million on a new facility that would store sludge from other communities. In return, the city would clean the sludge and ship it back. Right now, our plants pump directly into the kiln, and so there's nothing, there's not provisions made for bringing in residuals from an outside entity yet, and so that's the initial investment that would be required. That's $3 million of your money, but the city says that money would quickly be recovered from other communities looking for more efficiency in water softening. It's uh, not too hard that it interferes with washing clothes or dishes. And also, it's not too soft where it might be aggressive or relatively corrosive. It's a win-win, the city says, that comes with an upfront investment. I was told today by city officials that it would take about five years in order to recuperate that $3 million investment. Right now, I, I was told that the contracts with some of the communities are still pending at this time. And the only other city that actually uses a lime kiln filtration system in the United States is down in Miami, Florida. Reporting live in Dayton, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.